Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Xeno number 333. We are running in top eight winner semis with Ubel and Swiss, and we got to jump right into the action between a pair of zoners, one of which took the upset over John Numbers not to that long ago in Goober 707. Yeah, I, you know, I don't want to be the person asked to fight John and losers. And what a weird little interaction there. Actually threw Melly up into the holy water and just kind of stalled that little up air animation, that up throw animation. Very cool stuff. But Goober is going to be right in that high as long as they can. You don't take a win against John Numbers lightly. No, not in the least. And Goober is always one of these players that is just like the definition of a hidden boss. Like he's sneaky good in a lot of ways. Like knows how to set play extremely well, which is a a uh, really undervalued skill given the amount of strong just core game plans there are in this game. And funnily enough, a floatier zoner like Toon Link can just play into that long game so effectively. I'm expecting this timer to reach like the minute 30 mark before that final start stock is taken. I would only call Melee a secret boss just because he doesn't leave New York State. I don't know, much. yeah. Goober as well. Goober and Melee are both kind of in that in that role. Goober because of the lack of attendance and Melee because he's just New York. <laughs> yeah, somebody get these two people some bus tickets. Please. Please. <laughs> gotta train, show those Floridians that we're better than them. A train ticket to MDVA is not that much. Yo, yo. <laughs> it's like $80. Maybe a Xanadu homecoming? <laughs> Could be. Or the next Xeno Saga if they want to stay in New York. March 9th, don't March. miss it. That's really soon. That's the weekend before collision. Wow. That's your last chance to practice. You know what? There's no chance to practice here. It's do or die. Or maybe this is practice. In addition to do or die. They're both feeling each other out right now. I mean, we're five minutes and the first stock hasn't been taken. So it's a very uh, conscientious type of game. But the tipper on that forward air will take the first stock in the favor of Melly. Let's see if they can uh, really lock, batter down the hatches and lock down Goober's uh, offensive options. Yeah, Goober really needs to lock in here. He pushed up his glasses, but I think he needs to lean in a little more. Melly in the zone there. Meanwhile, Goober's just kind of hanging back, chilling. Goober is on this like pristine angle of his chair and sunken into it. Like They are in the position. The zone has been acquired. It's just a matter of what Melly can do about it. He's also Oh, getting juggled pretty fiercely right now. Got to respect that Toon Link up air, not only it for the damage, but also the activity. And just kind of going to both sides. Yeah. It's just classic zoner behavior. Take this. Oh, that was such a tight bomb window in order to hit the bottle before it, uh, it was actually ignited. Production, could we get like a counter for how many times we hear take this? Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> or... Chat, you can play along at Chat, you do it for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll, I can, I'll maybe do it next Ooh. game. Oh, I like the use of the bomb to kind of throw off. It's super floaty, a lot floatier yes. than other bombs in this game. It's something that caught John by surprise a lot on small battlefields. So let's see what Cooper can do here, but uh, they can die. They can die, yeah, they can get back to 0%, and maybe take this next stock from Melee. Yeah, it's big on, in a lot of ways to not respect uh, each other as much as they have been. As much as, like, feeling out as both players have been doing, there are times when you can just out-prioritize some of the projectiles they're throwing out. Richter primarily with these forward airs and back airs. But the same thing can go on the case of Goober, whether or not they want to bounce some of these uh, bomb explosions off of said projectiles, or just try and find their way in with something like a forward air or a... Uh, up close boomerang. The strong hit being safe on block really helps apply that pressure. You know, nobody respects uh, big zoner players, but I would say zoner players don't respect zoner players more than them because it's like, oh, you know, you're rushed down. Yeah, I can, I can zone you out, but you're playing against another zone. You're like, why? And, and it's like you're aware of all the tricks, right? You know what projectiles uh, can and can't be beaten by. You know how uh, effective just putting out hitboxes can be at stuffing out some of said projectiles. In case in point with some of the arrows and boomerang uh, crosses, rather. Uh, oh, this going is looking pretty hard here for Goober, 120, but evening it up. Oh, that's bomb fair. Oh, manages to live, doesn't get sniped. 
beautiful recovery on the part of Melee. The fast fall and rewarded immediately. The shake of the head, it's a long game and a long set with a lot of little interactions that can go for miles depending on uh, what each player notices. But man, the fact that Goober potentially had the game if they were just willing to go off stage in that moment and not uh, not committing to it at the nick of time. You know, win or lose, Emeli's the only one who shakes his head every time. The only time I've actually seen him nod his head or be happy is when he won Zeno against John Numbers. I mean, that's pretty good. I right? mean, yeah, right? That's pretty good. You're saving those moments. And it's about perfection, right? A lot of the times you'll see players like like Melly or Zomba or, you know, all these different uh, players of singular characters. Like, I know what I'm doing and I know what the counterplay is to what I'm doing. But it's a matter of how long can I get away with it? What type of counterplay to their counterplay will I start putting in? It's like they're trying to really see where they can push themselves to be at their utmost perfect. And if they're not perfect, well, you give them a little of a little head shake. Yeah, be like, no, no, I could have been better. Could have been better. I could have gone a three stock against you. <laughs> I could have simply won harder. <laughs> wow, that back air missed the phantom footstool in order to bait out the up B out of shield. It didn't net in a punish, but Melly's doing a really solid job right now of just trying to anti condition uh, buttons out of shield. And that little delay can give Melly time to throw out something like a holy water or a cross or apply some extra pressure little beat and little windows of time matter so much in a matchup of zoners. Yeah, because it's just a little chip damage versus chip damage. Until you get in, but even then, not too much of a punish. Can't really follow, especially when you have options to cover like a holy water or a cross. Okay, just the bomb toss coming down. Let's see. I want to see offstage gameplay there from Goober, but instead they just played hyper setup. I liked the... Uh, Bomb toss upward, but great delay on the part of Melee to get out of there in just the nick of time. All right, deal the bomb. No hit, though. No forward air. Cool. Quick little get-up attack. Oh, wow. So we did see that earlier where Melee actually did that little cross-up, and it flew over Uber's head. But keeping that in mind, when he saw it again, it was on reaction. Up smash. Easy punish. Always got to react when it comes to punishes like that, particularly with someone like Toon, like who has really good options at shield. You just need to react appropriately and see uh, and recognize everything their opponent's doing. It also helps to be a little short. That does benefit, typically. Hurtbox priority. <laughs> Too bad about the big hit, though. That forward tilt was just barely off. It's, you know, any opportunity to get Go Goober to snowball in this game number two it can be so, so pivotal. Oh, oh my god! But you're fine. In fact, did he take that on purpose? To I, there's no way. It couldn't have been, right? Couldn't right. have been. But you know, a little concussion never yeah. killed anybody. And Vampire Whip kills people. Yeah, it's the whip that's punishing, not the uh, giant heavy axe. No, <laughs> it's the whip. The whip just punches a hole through you. <laughs> Everything about Richter looks like it hurts, that's for sure. <laughs> Compare that to Toon Link and his more like art drawn. No way. The recovery routes are insane from both of these two. Okay, shield looking a little small there against Melee. Goober not able to capitalize though. Find those arrows. Take this. Starting to see some adaptation here from Goober actually using those arrows to bat away a lot of these projectiles from Melee and up a whole stock practically. Yeah, looking pretty good trying to find some of these, uh, some of the success that he was got getting in the first stock, which is just forcing Melee into really awkward positions and finding a lot of devastating hits that set up into more. Really vortexing Victor, who does not have the mobility to get out of damaging situations very cleanly. Doesn't need the mobility, just more axes. That's, I mean, that's the game plan. Back. Oh, the jump was right there on the part of Melee, but instead of just jumping and throwing out neutral back air, they angled it up as well, which Goober did not commit to the double jump. Oh. Oh my gosh, that could have been death. I like the idea, though. I like where Melee's head's at 99% of the time. It's just a matter of, like, Goober finding the right spacings to make those. Uh, typically strong options, actually ineffective. Okay. Avoids the axe. 
Yeah, you can neutral get up there. Even if the holy water falls away, you are always in whip distance. The big nature of Richter always trying to cover options with his projectiles first and foremost, and then follow up with the vampire killer. Ooh, that cross almost saved Melee, but it wasn't enough. Goober just wasn't too high percent. Downer? No, we're just fast falling to the platform. Nice little bounce there. Take a Goober past geometry. Goober's jab one, two mix ups are so, so intense. I love them. But you're forced off ledge, you're forced on ledge as a floaty against Richter. All of that coverage, if that was a forward smash, he broke shield from full. Oh, oh. going to be looking for that next game if we go to it. Got to believe with all these neutral getups that have been coming out, has the jump and Melly makes it back. Wow, this has suddenly gotten to a last hit game here. Swiss and last hit no longer. The run under up smash taking that stock and taking game number two is Goober bringing us to a game number three. All right, now Melly can shake your sh Melly. You can shake your head now. Yeah, now it is effective time to where you can shake your head because you lost and you got to hold that. I think we're gonna go back to battlefields. Oh no, he's nodding. Yeah. No, okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Hollow Bastion, love the stitch. Okay, honestly, great stitch for both players. And Melee part in particular loves the stage. It's, it's a longer stage. mono mono plant than Smashville, but it's a little longer as well, giving them plenty of space and opportunities to set up camp. Yeah, it's basically like taking the Smashville platform and just sticking it on FD. The bottom of the main stage is FD width, FD blast zones, but then you get the Smashville platform at the same height and dimensions. It's a really, really flexible stage uh, fitting for a great, great many characters, particularly if you like to set up frame traps. And we, I mean, we are encountering two characters that just love to shut you down, trap you, and find those big hits. And then Goober can't find a hit here, 97%. Melee untouched. Right. We're working on a perfect stock here. A good delay, but these forward tilts coming down. Let's see if Millie can keep up the pressure and keep Goober pinned down. That forward air will set up yet another ledge trap. Oh. It's the dream of every player to get a perfect game. Never mind, uh, the dream is gone. No perfect stock, but hey, it's close enough when it comes to tournament play. Like you're, you're not expecting to zero to death people or find those, find that perfection every single day of the week. That's right. You can't let perfect be the enemy of good. True. That's a good way to put it. I'm gonna steal that. You're welcome. <laughs> well, down to one, two. Let's see if this ledge trap will be the one. Not quite. In fact, oh, I love that pickup there on the part of Goober. Finding the falling there from that high up to run under up smash. So nice and on reaction. Not letting Melly get any sort of offense started. We're post. We're forcing Richter back into the corner. And Uber just chasing Melee down, unafraid of taking any hits. I mean, at 153, you might as well. If something's going to kill you, it is what it is. Might as well rack up the damage, use this rage as long as you can. The, the short-term goal of, of Goober on this stock has certainly been well met. Like You have made this game well, well even going into your second stock. And doing all of that work basically at 150 plus is in, nothing short of incredible. All right, some good patience there for Melee. The Nup Smash isn't going to take it. Are these... Is the ceiling kind of high as well for for Hollow Bastion? Yeah, it's FD, FD ceiling. You're so. right, you're right. But finally, bring the to even stocks. Nice hero spin. Just 21 damage right off the bat. Out of shield options is certainly something that Toon Link has in spades with uh, Nair, item tosses, up B, up smash. Like, He's able to find reversals, no problem. It's just a matter of getting a chance to execute his game plan. I love kind of the smoke screen there. Try to go for a third hero spin, didn't get it. So a lot of visual noise on the screen. What, like holy water lingering around. Uh, Cross can take uh, the camera. The, <laughs> the bomb smoke screen as well. Like so much to keep track of and so much that can be on screen at any one given time. Ooh, that sometimes is it's just overwhelming and you lose a stock. That's why you put those angles, and that's why Richter players typically uh, really hunt for that perfect angle where Holy Water will catch two frames. It just effectively means guaranteed stocks. Have you ever noticed that Smash is full of very, I would say, a variety of professions? Like, you know, I've met lawyers, I've met teachers, I've met people who have, like, traveled the world. I feel like if I asked Melly what his day job was, he'd be like, I'm a physics teacher. By the way, he's throwing all these projectiles. Yeah. <laughs> Not unseen. Uh, you know the New Jersey player, Ju Kane? Yeah. He's a teacher. 
Oh, <laughs> maybe can teach Melly how to recover better. <laughs> like, come, just simply down air the bomb. That's how you recover, right? Come on, be fancy. <laughs> just be better. <laughs> be perfect, even. Wow, nice. I'm surprised that that downer was able to connect through the upbeat uh, from Goober. Uh-oh. Melly may be shaking his head there because of the Shoryuken there. Sets up a ledge. Looking good. Oh, ill-advised down smash. May have been the nerves. He could have just not been anticipating that uh, hallway water to connect. Oh, the faint jump in there from Melior to intercept. We're coming down to final stock, final game kind of situation. Final hit even here, Swiss. So many oh, of these can't get that grab. Everyone forgets about the bombs. The roll away on the part of Meli, trying to play as calm and as careful as possible, expecting Goober to stay on the ground. Whoa! Ooh. He was mixing. And he found the hit. There we go. He got mixed. He's going on the losers. What? what John, I'm sorry. It was like a half second before. Let's see that final stock again. Yeah. There, there was a lot going on there. It's It just resolved in a bomb fair, which is nothing crazy. But holy, look at this. Look at this dude. He's going to run up to Richter. By the way, Richter has a frame four out of shield option that he can reverse and cover either this space or this space. So this little mix is purely based on fear. And you know what? He loves it. Valentine's Day may be over, but we still love we you, love Jets. That. We love that. Yeah. We, we love just this raw mix-up that Goober is going for because it's just like a back and forth because you're threatening item toss. And item toss at, uh, is frame three for most characters. And then just the coverage on the roll-in. So beautiful there on the part of Goober. It's something that keeps all of the links in contention and in playability. <gasps> oh no, we didn't get a oh, we didn't get a fist bump. Wow. No, I didn't even notice that. You know, it's okay. It's nothing against. It doesn't. Uh, it's not. It mainly often does this sometimes when he feels like he made a mistake.